Welcome to our electron line. Our next method is a little bit more complicated, but it works like a charm. So let me explain. Again, we're starting with the two equations and place them into that format because we're going to be dealing with matrices. In this case, we're going to be dealing with the inverse matrix. So what's an inverse matrix? Well, we'll get there in just a moment. So first of all, remember that the coefficients of the x and y's can be placed into a single matrix. And let's call that matrix A. A is the numerical coefficients of the x and y variables when they're placed in this format right here. Then we create a second matrix, call it B, and that B matrix consists of the two constants on the right side of the equal sign. Then we can say that the matrix A multiplied by this matrix, that matrix, the x with the low lines on top and at the bottom, they simply rep represent the matrix with all the unknown variables, in this case x and y. And so we can say that the A matrix multiplied by the XY matrix is equal to the B matrix. Okay, so that is true because notice if we multiply this matrix by this matrix and set equal to that, we get the original two equations back, just like we showed you a few videos ago. But now they claim that if this is true, we know that's true because that gives us our two initial equations, then we can say that we can solve for X and Y by multiplying the inverse matrix of A times the B matrix. And this is a very simple operation. All we have to do is find the inverse of the matrix. Well, there's two ways in which we can do that. And here's the first of the two ways, method one, which we're going to do in this particular video. So if we generalize the matrix A and A, B, C, and D simply represent four constants, whatever they are, then the inverse of the matrix is 1 over the determinant times this matrix. Now notice, all we did was we interchanged A and D, so we put D there and A there, so we interchanged those two, and then we put negative signs in front, and then we multiply that times 1 over the determinant. And the determinant is simply these elements, A, B, C, and D, in such a way that when we multiply these two together, A times D, and we subtract the multiplication of those two together, b times c, we get the determinant. So then simply, whatever this result is, which is a number, goes in the bottom here. Now you're probably saying, what in the world is he doing? But stay with me because now we're going to show you the example. So first of all, we have a. So we can say that if a is equal to 1, negative 1, 2, and 1, then we can say that a to the minus 1 is equal to 1 over the determinant times, notice we're going to replace those two numbers, so we're going to put this one over here and that one over there, so nothing really changes. And then we're going to put negative signs in front, so the negative 1 becomes a positive 1, and the positive 2 becomes a negative 2. And all we have to do now is find the determinant. So the determinant is going to be equal to Going back to the A matrix, the product of those two, so that's going to be 1 times 1, minus the product of those two, which is going to be negative 1 times 2. So here we can say that this is equal to 1, minus times a minus, which is plus 2, which is equal to 3. So essentially, the inverse matrix is equal to 1 over 3 times 1, 1, negative 2 times 1, or you can simply multiply this inside, so this can be written as one-third, one-third, negative two-thirds, and one-third. So there is the inverse matrix, depend upon if you prefer this format or that format, I prefer this format, but that's simply the inverse matrix, and now all we have to do is multiply that inverse matrix times negative two and eight, where is it, where did I go here? Um, there we go, yeah, the inverse matrix, a negative 1 times b, which is simply this matrix times the b matrix, which is this. So in other words, we can then say that x and y is simply equal to this matrix, 1 third, 1 third, negative 2 thirds, and 1 third, multiplied times the b matrix, which is negative 2 and 8. And that product will give us the values for x and y. But we'll show you that on the next, not the next video, but the video after that, after we show you the second method of getting the inverse matrix 
of a two by two matrix. So this is what we're trying to get to. Now we have another method of finding the inverse matrix. Once we know how that other method works, then we'll show you how to do this to get the values for X and Y. And that is how it's done using the inverse matrix. That is so complicated. Yes, it does seem that way, doesn't it? <laughs> so again, this is for reference. We just want to show you all the various methods in which we can find the solution to a, linear, a system of linear equations. Obviously, the substitution method and the elimination method are the two favorite methods for most people doing algebra.